Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are continuing off of a previous video where I showed you how to find the index of a word in a list um, or an element in a list. But the problem with that issue is if you do like what I mentioned where you say something like um, curlist.index and then you give it um, hello, I'll just print this out. If I print this out right here, when I run this, you'll see it gives me zero, which is obviously the first the first value, but it's also missing the second index, like it, because there's multiple indexes here. Index, this index function will only give you the first, like it states there, it will only give you the first index value. So how do we go finding all the index values in, of a specific element in a list? And I'm gonna show you two methods how you can do that, so let's jump right in right now. Okay, so the two methods that you can use, I believe are, well, first off is gonna be list comprehension, like, because essentially, when you're getting into Python, you can use list comprehension to do this pretty easily. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Um, and then the next, I'll show you how you can use a package to help you do this as well. So for list comprehension, we just wanna say all indices, indices or indexes, I can't spell, sorry, <laughs> is equal to, um, and now this is where the list comprehension comes in. And I'm gonna say index uh, for index comma val in enumerate. And I'll just tell you what's going on here, cur list. And then if val is equal to, or is equal to, hello. So what is happening here, right? Like if, you, if you're not familiar with list comprehension, like what the crap has happened on? What essentially happens is we're using this function enumerate. Now what happens when you use enumerate is basically it's going to not only return the, when it's looping through a list or an interval, it's not only gonna return um, the value, but it's also gonna give you the index at which that value is at. So for instance, hello is zero, um, index as well as the value hello. Right here, world is index one with that value, two, three, and so on. So when we run this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through, as it's going through this list, it's gonna say, here's your index value, here's, or here's your index and value and then it's going to check against this conditional statement where it's going to say is the value equal to hello if it is add the index to this list that we're creating so when i run this which you'll see if i just print this out and right there go ahead and you'll see like we print out the first index of hello and now what we do is we're getting both the zero and zero index as well as the second index um because if you don't remember python is zero based indexing so zero one two and those are both of the indexes using list comprehension so now how, what's the other way that you could do this you could essentially do this using a package uh called numpy so to use numpy essentially you have to actually import the package so import numpy as pi and if you don't have numpy installed like on your system like I have a virtual environment that I'm using and what you can do is you can just go pip whether you're using a virtual environment or you're using your general Python environment you can say pip install numpy and hit enter and then that will essentially saw it like I already have it so if I try and run this all it's gonna say it's like it's set up aside so it doesn't need to update um, so yeah so now if I run this what I can do is I can do the same thing I'm gonna say indexes um, two is equal to, and this is the nice thing about numpy is you could just say np.where. So this is gonna ask essentially a question. And what you have to do is you have to pass in, an, uh, and I actually wanna say this is np, not pi. And then what you have to do is convert this list to a numpy array um, to use it. So we can say np.array, and then I can say cur list. And then where now what we want to do is say where this numpy array has the value equal to um, hello oops hello now what this is going to do if I print this out two we can run this and you'll see we for our there's our first print right there which is the index of the original hello there's where we have using list comprehension and now what's happening is this np.where is going to return a tuple of a numpy array so what we want to do then is we want to say we want the first value in that tuple and to make it more useful or to help us without any issues and we just want the a list of indices we can say dot to list now, it might be a lot, and I'll, I'll do some more um, videos on NumPy and, and its benefits because it is a very useful and powerful um, package. Uh, but essentially, if I rerun this again, you'll see I get the exact same results. So there you have it. There is two methods that you can use to find all of the indexes of a specific element or value that you're looking for within a list. If this has provided value, please hit the like button and subscribe because this is where we learn about Python, software development. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below and I'll do my best to help answer them right away. And until next time, keep on on programming.